Wine swirling is a, an intuitive motion that we use in everyday life to mix and oxygenate the wine. It is amazing to see that it's only recently that this gentle motion has inspired engineers to reproduce it for drug production in cell cultivation in bioreactors. We are interested in our laboratory hydraulic machine in investigating this kind of mixing to understand how it occurs and also how the oxygenation takes place in order to optimize such phenomena in a large scale bioreactors for cell cultivation. We have studied how the wave generates a mixing inside the glass of wine. We have found that three main parameters ensure the shape of the wave and the flow inside the glass. And we have uh, studied how this parameter can be used to scale from a very small glass of wine to a very large bioreactor, keeping the same hydrodynamic situation just by keeping these parameters constant. The biggest problem in bioreactor technology is delivering gas into the tank and removing gas from the tank. The other problem is mixing efficiently while doing it so in a gentle way. Mammalian cells are specifically very sensitive for that, and so steer tanks are not the best systems as we have found, while they are the industry standard. So already 15 years ago or so, we figured out that we need better systems for growing cells in, in bioreactors, and we found that very small tubes, actually 5 milliliter cultures in a 50 milliliter tubes, would do this very efficiently when we orbitally shake these little reactors. And we have expanded this principle to large bioreactors now, like the 250 liter reactor here and another 2,500 liter reactor. And we are still surprised that the oxygen transfer rates in these reactors are extremely high while gentle mixing the cells.